Hi, this is Marcia, and today I'm going to be talking about dry erase dice. Dry erase dice in your classroom can help with your future ready skills, or when a student is stuck, you can have them go roll the dice for new options. So for example, I'm going to start with a math example. This is an integer, positive and negative. So what I did was all my dry erase dice, I actually, hold on, I know it's crazy, but I actually went and used permanent marker. The reason being is because when the kids are rolling the dice and if it's dry erase, it's going to come off. So what I did was I used permanent marker. How do I get permanent marker off of dry erase? Use an expo marker over the top of it and it'll come right off. Easy. But now all the kids are going to be able to go back there. So they're going to roll a positive number and a negative number. Then they're going to walk it off, walk backwards, they're going to find the answer. So it's a interactive way to work on integers. Okay, that's one way. But again, these dry erase dice can be used in any type of format. I'm going to show one that is outside of math. It could be used in science, language arts, social studies, art, music, whatever you want to do. So for example, this one here, this dry erase dice has create a poem, create a poster, create a song, create a play, create a timeline, and free choice. So the students roll this dice. This would be when they're ready to showcase their understanding of a topic or an idea. So they roll the purple dice and they get create a poster. Then, again, to step it up a notch, to level up, I came up with basically six different ideas that the students could use to showcase their understanding. So I have emails, which is a post or which is a slideshow show presentation that's easy to use and the kids can collaborate just like Google Docs. S'more.com, which is a poster creator, which is very easy. Canva, which is an online graphic design. ThingLink, which is another poster, but it's an interactive poster where it has like um, interactive buttons that the kids click and it can have embed photos and videos and descriptions. And then I have Storyboard That. I really like Storyboard That because it's a basically a three picture frame that the kids can go in they could create their timeline or idea using characters. Very easy, highly recommend it. And then finally, the last one is Toontastic. Toontastic is a web-based program now. It used to be just on iPads, but now it is in the Google Store. So Toontastic is making like a little video with these cartoon guys. So remember I rolled create a poster. Now I'm going to roll, oh, well that was easy. I landed on some more. S'more is a very easy one because it's a reading a poster. But let's switch it up. Let's say I had storyboard that. So now I have to turn storyboard that into a poster about World War II. Because World War II is what we're learning about. So the idea is that we switch it up. Dry erase dice. Inexpensive, great, easy way to switch up the kids from always doing a Google slide and getting their creative juices flowing. Still using it in future ready, so that means we're going to be working or collaborating or creating. All right, guys, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Thanks for checking in.